Hello, Woodside Kids. My name is Esther, and I'm going to be bringing you the kids' story this week. This story is the first in a new series of stories that teach us how followers of Jesus, like you and me, should make decisions. We're going to be looking at the life of David, who was a young shepherd boy and lived many years ago, even before Jesus, and eventually grew up to be the king of Israel. It says in the Bible that David made decisions in his life to try and do what God wanted. He wasn't perfect, and he made some pretty big mistakes, but at other points in his life, we can look to David as an example of how we should live. Some of you might know this story already. Throughout the story, there are going to be some quiz questions. See how many of them you can get right. God had chosen a man named Saul to be the king of Israel. The people of Israel kept getting attacked by some neighboring people called the Philistines. David became a national hero in Israel when he bravely fought a Philistine giant and with God's help killed him and the Philistines ran away. Well, after David became a hero, Saul became really jealous of David, so much so that he became obsessed with killing David. It seemed like it was the only thing he could think about. It must have been really awful for David to be threatened and on the run even though he had done nothing wrong. Actually, he had helped Saul's army win an important battle, but instead Saul wanted him dead. For many years, David and a whole group of his soldier friends were on the run through deserts and forests and wilderness, trying not to get killed by Saul and his army. One day, someone told Saul where David and his men were hiding, and Saul gathered 3,000 men to go hunt down David. As they were looking for David and his men, Saul went into a cave. Do you know why he went into a cave? Was it A, to go to the bathroom, B, to take a nap, or C, he was running away from a wild animal? If you said A, to go to the bathroom, you're right. Good job. Well, the most amazing thing happened. Saul just went into the cave for some privacy, but it turned out that that was the exact cave that David and his men were hiding in. Strangely, Saul didn't even know that David and his army were in there. Was this because A, Saul was mostly deaf in one ear, B, it was a really stormy day and all the noisy weather drowned out the noise of David and his men, or C, David's men were way far back in the cave and quiet as mice. If you said C, David's men were way far back in the cave, then you're right. David's men could hardly believe what was happening. They thought this might be the perfect opportunity to end this awful chase. Maybe David or one of them should just attack Saul right there in the cave and kill him. They knew that Saul was being a bad king at this point anyway. David snuck up behind Saul and do you know what he did? Did he A, cut off Saul's head, B, cut off a corner of his robe, or C, startle him and say, boo? If you said B, cut off a corner of Saul's robe, then you're right. Saul never even noticed, but David immediately felt very bad. Did he feel bad because A, it was a very nice robe and a shame to wreck it, B, he should have killed him, and he may have missed his chance. Or C, it showed disrespect to God's chosen king. If you said C, it showed disrespect to God's chosen king, then you're right. David knew that Saul had been anointed by God to be king over Israel. He felt he shouldn't have cut off his robe, and he should not do anything to harm Saul, because Saul was the one God had chosen to be king. David would not let any of his men do anything to Saul, and Saul left the cave to go back to his army. Do you know what David did next? Did he A, go out of the cave and bow down to Saul to show respect? B, go out and yell, Ha ha, you fool, missed me, missed me, and mock Saul? Or C, wait till Saul was gone and mail him the piece of his robe later, anonymously? If you said A, go out of the cave and bow down to Saul in respect, you are right. 
David went out of the cave and called out to Saul, and he bowed down. He said, I could have killed you, and some of my men thought I should, but I would not. I said to myself, I won't do anything against Saul, because he is the Lord's anointed. Look, I have a piece of your robe. Please understand that I'm not out to kill you. Do you know what Saul did next? Did he A. Call his army and chase after David to kill him? B. Got so angry and made David buy him ten new robes to replace the damaged one? Or C. Felt bad and took his men and went home? If you said C, then you're right. Saul felt bad and went home. David had a pretty tough decision to make there in the cave. He had his friends urging him to kill Saul, and it might have seemed like the best thing to do in that situation. And it might have even seemed that God had led Saul to that very cave just so that David could kill him. His friends probably said something like, David, do you think this is a coincidence that Saul came into this cave to go to the bathroom? No, it's a God thing. God is delivering him into your hand. Let's end this thing right now. But David did not make his decision based on the circumstances around him. He made his decision based on what he knew to be right. God had said Saul was to be the king over Israel. It would have been a sin to go against what God had said, even if Saul himself was sinning by hunting down David to kill him. David made a good decision that day. In the same way, God wants us to make our decisions based on what he says in his word not on what might seem to solve our problem in the moment.